Hi friends, this is Mohan Gibran and welcome to our JavaScript tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a type, uh, typing effect using the JavaScript. So let us see what we are going to develop in this tutorial. So I am printing this text using the JavaScript as a typing effect. This code is easy to write and looks good, good also. It might give a nice elegant look to your web page. So let us see how to code something like this. So now let's start developing something like this. So for that we'll go to our uh, notepad plus plus and uh, we will create one uh, div and we'll give it an ID as uh, typing text. Okay. Now we'll close it and uh, we'll close the div. And now in the head section I will create one script tag. script okay and uh, I have got one more a over here so let me remove it and we'll go and uh, close the script and uh, within the script we are going to need one uh, variable which I will name as text this is the text which we want to print on the screen so let me say this is a test text to see if it works okay so this will be the test uh, text which we want to print on our screen and uh, we need one variable we will uh, we will need one array sorry that array will name it as char array what this array is this will convert this complete text or this complete string into characters so we will get all these characters one by one by one that is t h i s v want to get them one by one and we store that one by one in our char array so how we do that we will just do text dot split and how we are going to split that we are going to split it character wise okay so everything we are splitting character wise so once we have everything splitted in our uh, char array then we are uh, going to create one more variable and this time i will name this variable as timer so this timer will decide the looping uh, condition so we are going to create one function named as uh, loop and uh, in that function i am going to do something like this i am going to set my timer variable as set uh, set time out so this is the uh, function which will call itself we are doing we are calling this function depending on a particular time so what we want to do on after a particular time is we will is i want to call the same function again the function is loop that means i'm calling the same function and uh, for the how much time after how much time so i am keeping this value 70 if you want your text to display very uh, fastly so you have to make this value smaller but if you want your text to come very slowly then you have to give a bigger value for that but till now your function is not performing anything so for that i will do something like this i will just put up an uh, if condition over here which is document dot get element by id typing text that's our uh, uh, div if you remember so i'm changing the inner html of that according to the character array and every time i'm printing it i'm shifting it to the next character so i'm once one text get, gets printed i'm going to the next character in the array until the array holds no more characters once everything is over then i'm clearing the timer and I'm returning false that means we are done with the uh, stuff which we were supposed to do so now we have cleared this all and now we will just go down to the body and onto the on load event I will call this loop method loop okay so now let me just save it and we will run this in our chrome 
so we don't get anything let me just see what happened so let me see everything looks fine okay so there's the problem so let me just make it capital T see we have a capital T over here but it was small D. so now it will work hopefully so let me just run in the chrome and uh, this is what you get so this is a test text to see if it works and uh, if you wish you can add some CSS it's just a div you can add the CSS if you wish and uh, you can add more text over here if you want to add uh, more characters into your array so this was it for this tutorial hope you understood how to do something like that and thanks for watching